Today I'm going to share with you how to set up your workouts. Uh, I'm going to give you two examples. It's going to be a bent arm pull and push workout and a pull and push straight arm workout. Um, so first thing first. Of course, number one is the warming up. Warm up. Always make sure you do a full body warm up. Cover all the joints, get your heart rate up, get your body temperature up. Um, and then we move on to the second part. And that's pre-training, that's how I like to call it. So pre-training. And this is uh, something I use to increase uh, the performance of the workout we are going to do. Um, so we're going to simply just activate some muscles that we are going to use and open up some muscles. So the first example I'm going to give you is a pull and push workout, bent, bent arm strength. So let's say we are going to perform weighted dips as our main goal and um, the one arm chin. So weighted dips. Plus one arm chin. This is our main goals. So with pre-training, we want to activate certain muscle parts, certain muscles, and open up certain areas in the body. So, for example, uh, we're going to perform uh, some scapula hand and retractions. We're going to perform ten reps of those. Then we're going to move on to some shoulder dislocations to open up the shoulders for the weighted dips and also the pulling work and then we might activate our chest by doing some basic push-ups um, and we might activate a grip with some forearm exercises just to get some blood flow and just to activate our grip so that's basically our pre-training and then we are going to move on to the actual workout so I'm going to wipe this clean real quick. So the first exercise should always be uh, your goal. So our main movement is going to be going to be weighted dips in the one arm chain. So let's say we're going to start off with. assisted one arm chin ups. We are going to perform three reps for five sets and straight after or 60 seconds between those exercises we are going to perform weighted dips. We are going to perform Weighted dips with around 80% of our, of our max for 4 reps of 5 sets. So the first two exercises should always be your main purpose or your goals or your heaviest exercises. So I'm going to just list here goals. Alright, then we move on to the second exercise. Basically, the second exercise should always be something that feed uh, these two exercises or feed your goals um, or feed your weakness of those goals. So, for example, for one arm chin ups, we are going to perform uh, assisted one arm chin negative. Four sets of 20 seconds. And for our weighted dips, again we're going to work on what will feed our goal. So let's say your weakness is the bottom position of a dip. So go, we are going to perform pulse red dips. So pulse dips. 
with around 50% of our marks. So we're going to work on technique. So let's say four to six reps for four, four sets. Again, so I'm going to list here food for our goals. Alright? Then I'm going to, to do, do the third exercises. And the third exercises can be general strength work, work, but it should still be connected to your goals or to your main weaknesses. So let's say we're going to perform wide grip pull-ups. For 12 reps and 3 sets. And for dips, so it still needs to be connected, so we're going to perform, let's say, ring push ups for 12 reps. And 3 sets. So again, it should again be connected to your goals. So this is just called some general strength work. should be really focused on the smaller muscle parts. Again, it should be connected. So, for the one-arm chin-ups, we're going to perform, uh, let's say, basic uh, scapula retractions rotation on bar. So, scapula retractions rotating for 5 reps to each side for 3 sets for the so for the dips we are going to perform tricep extensions on the bar so one weight for 12 to 15 reps for 3 sets so this should be Smaller muscles, but still connected to your main weaknesses and your goals. So here we have it. This is a great example on how I like to program for a push and pull workout. Um, the pull and push workouts are really great because it keeps balance between the two muscles, so it will prevent you from injuries. It's also less boring, so the intensity is much higher. Um, so you also burn more calories, you burn more fat, uh, push your hormones quicker. Um, so the first exercise should always be main movements, so goals related. Then we're going to feed our goals with the second exercise. Then the third exercise will be general strength, but still should be focused around the goals and main weaknesses. And the last exercise should be smaller muscles, work on uh, balance and main weaknesses. Um, so yeah, that's a bent arm push workout. So now I'm going to give you the second example, which is straight arm work. Again, a pull and a push workout. Just because it's more fun, more intense, it keeps you more healthier, it keeps balance between the muscles. Okay, so number one is again general warm up, full body warm up. Then number two is pre training. So let's say our main goal is planche and the front lever. Alright, so for pre training, we're going to perform some scapula retractions and depression to activate for the front lever. Uh, we're going to perform some, some hollow body rocks to activate the core for the front lever and the planche. And we're going to perform a basic ring front support to warm up the tendons and connective tissue for the planche and also for the front lever. Alright? So our main uh, 
So our first exercise will be, of course, our goals. Um, you've got to remember that uh, planche front lever work is a lot of square work also. So I really like to perform high volume on these exercises. Um, so we're going to perform, let's say, a top planche hold. for max seconds for 10 seconds okay going to perform. we're going to take 60 seconds rest or 30 seconds rest then we're going to perform um, let's say advanced Tuck from lever, hold. For max, 10 cents. So, this is our first exercise. It should always be related to your goals. Goal, skill work. So again, second exercise will be food for the goals. So ask yourself, what is your main weakness? Um, what is holding you back on the top planche? Um, let's say it's the shoulders. So we're going to perform uh, a planche lean with your, our feet elevated on a small step box. So flange in for 20 seconds for 5 seconds. For the front lever we are going to perform a top front lever raises on the rings with a 5 second hold on each front lever position. So wins, tuck, front lever, raise, times 5 seconds, times 3 reps, times 5 sets. So again, the second exercise should always be food for your main goals. Then, so main weaknesses, general strength work to feed your main weaknesses. Um, for the planche, we are going to perform um, Prisego planche push-ups. Going to perform 8 reps and 4 sets. For the front lever weights, we're going to perform. Um, so let's do weighted ring rows. Eight to ten reps, four sets. So again, general strength work, feeling. Main weaknesses. Then the last exercises. So we can, for the last exercise, we can feed our small muscles to create some balance, to create some health. Uh, but we can also work on, the, on our weaknesses in the core, for example. So let's make a nice superset. So we're going to perform three exercises after each other. So the first exercise will be hand and leg raises for 10 reps, three sets. We're going to take 15 to 30 seconds rest. Then we're going to perform Hollow body ropes on the floor. We're going to perform 
60 seconds for three sets. Then rest is really not needed, but let's say we take 50 seconds rest and then we, form, then we go to perform some external rotation work. So let's say uh, one arm Cuban knee rotations. One arm Cuban knee rotation. For eight reps for three sets. So there you have it, a great example of how you should uh, set up your workouts. Um, so the first exercise always should be very much uh, close to your goals. The second exercise should be food for your goals. Uh, the third exercise should be uh, main weakness uh, strengthening, so general strength work. And the last exercise should be uh, smaller muscles uh, focus, so uh, bringing back uh, health into the shoulders, maybe some grip work, uh, some core work. Um, yes, but it should always be related to your goals, so don't just go uh, do some um, bicep uh, curls or uh, whatever, you know, it should always be related to your goals. Um, to make the best progress. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you want to see next in the comments below. Uh, give it a share and thanks for watching. EIB.